Three years ago, not many people within the SMSU community knew Ron Wood. This year, he's being honored by the Alumni Association for his contributions to the university. Such was the impact that Wood had on SMSU when he became the interim president in July of 2011, following the retirement of Dr. David Danahar. Wood had been retired as the president of the Minnesota West Community and Technical College for three years, following a successful 10 years in that position. Minnesota West has campuses in Granite Falls, Canby, Pipestone, Worthington, and Jackson. The campuses surround Marshall, and there's a lot of offices in Marshall, so I was familiar with SMSU, he said. Say the name Ron Wood around campus today, and two words come to mind, energy and passion. Being the president of a four-year institution opened my eyes to the amount of opportunities that are present, he said. Leading a two-year college and a four-year in terms of leadership function is about the same. But in terms of opportunities available to you, your creativity can be so much greater. His two-year tenure began when he was one of the dozens of volunteers who helped clean up the campuses following the July 1st, 2011 windstorm that uprooted trees and blew branches all over campus. He was drenched in sweat, and the effort he showed that first day translated into his tenure as president. From the beginning, he wanted to establish an RN to BSN nursing degree at the university. He got that done. He wanted to enter into discussions with the Marshall School District for a collaborative track and field complex. He got that done. He wanted to connect freshmen with faculty to help increase their student retention. He got that done. There were lots of smaller projects, new seating and carpet in the SMSU theater, creating a groundwork for an AA degree, working with the school districts to offer an AA degree as part of the College Now program, working with the Marshall School District on a new track and field complex. Check, 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 and check. In the world of higher education, where the wheels of change can move excruciatingly slow, his accomplishments were many. When I got there, I really felt the spirit of the place, he said. There was a desire to go forward by the people, and it sucked me right in. It's easy to work with good people. Wood continues to serve on the Worthington City Council. He's playing a lot of golf, following his granddaughter's volleyball exploits, and doing some work for the Minsky system. Wood and his wife have four children, Melissa Alleman, Caroline Wood, Matt Strasberg, and Amy Harberts. They have three grandchildren. I'm really honored to be given this Alumni Association Award, he said. Being president was one of the greatest times of my career.